Why are we acting like this isn't a thing? There's enough evidence for even the most skeptical person to seriously at least question the validity of Obama's birth certificate. I, I get it. The legacy media will instantly call you a racist. I think it is racial. Racism. All racist, birther lie. Or a birther. Bertha. 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 These lunatics need to be put in their place. But the latest media blackout of the press conference given by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office confirming that Barack Obama's birth certificate currently hosted on WhiteHouse.gov is a forgery is something that should alarm you. Obama's birth certificate has numerous problems pointed out by several credible forensic experts and members of law enforcement. And the only person you would need to help make a credible forgery died mysteriously after releasing it. But we'll get back to that in a moment. In 2011, it became obvious that Obama was going to have to come up with a birth certificate because despite the legacy media smear campaign, people were starting to think it was a little bit weird that here we are getting close to the end of his first term and we still don't have proof of who he is. So on April of 2011, Loretta Fuddy, the only person with access to the original version of the birth certificate, released a copy that was then promptly posted and still hosted on whitehouse.gov. Problem solved, right? Not so fast. So immediately, if you download the birth certificate right now and open the PDF in Adobe Illustrator, anyone with even basic graphic design skills is going to spot a few obvious problems. For starters, the document has layers you can move around, just like any document would created in Illustrator or Photoshop. Another obvious problem is that there is a white halo effect around all the text. Anyone who has ever used Photoshop will know this happens when you copy and paste something and don't do a good job of cleaning it up afterwards. It's pretty obvious stuff, Photoshop 101. Now another easy to spot problem is where it looks like there is some distortion from where the page was curled back when it was scanned. Just as if you had put a book face down in a copy machine, the text is distorted. But on the Obama birth certificate, only the text is curled back and the background image is flat as a sheet. Just like it would be if you had added it in later. All of these issues and more were released by the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office back in 2012. We're not going to cover all the findings that were released, but it's enough to get you wondering why nobody made a bigger deal of this. There was a total legacy media blackout on the subject, so most people never even heard of this and bought into the lie that the investigators were somehow racist to discredit anyone who looked at this as something serious. But that's just the beginning. It gets a whole lot worse. Back to Loretta Fuddy. The woman you would need to release a forgery. Not only was she appointed to be director of the Department of Health Administers by Democrat Governor Neil Abercrombie just one month prior to the release of Obama's forged birth certificate, from 2006 to 2008, she was also the chairwoman of Sabud USA, a small Muslim cult from Indonesia that Obama's mother belonged to in the 1960s. What are the chances of that? But it gets even worse. She was the only person to die in this plane crash. This plane crash where everyone got safely out of the plane, including Fuddy. Official cause of death? Heart attack. Oh, and uh, Obama just happened to be visiting Hawaii when this all happened. What? That's right. Obama was in Hawaii the day of the plane crash. That happened. But of course, it gets even worse. So now fast forward to 2016. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office has now sent Obama's birth certificate to forensic experts around the world, and after years of analyzing it, they have a press conference to go over their findings. This time with the original birth certificate that was actually used to make Obama's forged copy. In this press conference, they show how portions of this birth certificate were actually copied and pasted onto the forgery posted on whitehouse.gov. But it gets even worse. Prompted by allegations made by Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2007 that Obama was actually born in Kenya, and statements made by Obama's family, including Michelle Obama, when she called Kenya Obama's home country. Uh, Barack has led by example. Uh, when we took our trip to Africa and visited his home country in Kenya, uh, we took a public HIV test. And of course, the obviously forged birth certificate, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office requested the INS records that detail all persons flying into Hawaii from overseas. This would show whether or not Obama's mother had flown to Hawaii with Obama as an infant, if he had been born abroad. The National Archives supplied hundreds of microfilm rolls, detailing names of everyone who had entered into Hawaii in 1961. That is, everyone that didn't enter the country between August 1st through the 7th, you know, the week Obama was born. Again, the only records missing from the National Archives are the records from the week that Obama was born. 
The box containing the roll of film that should have contained the relevant dates contained only this for the week Obama was born. So now that you've seen all this information, you have to ask yourself, how is no one talking about this? And, and seriously, how long before they start saying that Obama's birth certificate was hacked by the Russians? Share this video with as many people as possible because they're not going to cover this. Social media is banning content they don't agree with, and in fact, YouTube is actually manipulating the views on my channel. If you like my videos, please support me on my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and thanks for sharing this video. Subscribe to this channel and visit blackpill.com for more.